Hey, I'm Guido and this is Try Trying Harder. If you follow along, you'll know a while back I picked up a BC Rich War Beast. Awesome guitar, but due to its awesome unique shape, it kinda doesn't fit any of my guitar stands. So to keep her safe, I went and picked up a new one. I went ahead and grabbed a Hercules. What is this, a GS432B+. This is one of the ones that will hold three guitars, cause, well, I have a couple guitars. So I'm gonna pop this open and show it off. So let's see what's in this box. Shouldn't be a whole lot, just the dang stand. Pretty compact coming out of the box. So that, that's not too bad if you wanna travel with this somewhere, put it on stage. It's got some heft to it, cause it's all metal. Comes with some adjustable pieces for different guitar necks, probably for like, a banjo, make the gap a little smaller. That's pretty much what comes in it. Let's see what they have to say. So yeah, like I said, they call it Nina. Narrow instrument neck adjustment. So yeah, if you had a banjo or a mandolin, you're gonna have some folding rests. I'll show those off. Instant height adjustment by just squeezing the clamp. And then probably, hopefully, one of my favorite parts is the auto grip system, where you just throw it on there, the way the guitar locks her in place. I'll get this all extended out, and we'll see what some guitars look like on it. All right, before I throw some guitars on here, let me show you a few things. Here is the nice little easy adjust. Just squeeze it, change the height to where you want those guitars. See, hopefully that's about the right height. Then these little guys, as you'll see, if you can see that, the weight of the guitar is gonna push these little locks down holding the, the neck in. There's a little pull out adjustment here. Locks into this little plastic thing. Keeps this out of the way if you're not gonna use it or if you're transporting it. Quickly pop it out, this pops in, and then can hold the guitar. If you look down here, hold on, come here. So these guys are also adjustable. This will hold your acoustic guitar out since it's got the, the body to account for. So you can pop these up, these other ones still could go in. If you pop all of them up, this will adjust so you can also adjust the height of where you want these to land on your acoustic guitar. And then finally, what's really nice is this super wide stance bass. This gives it a lot of stability so those guitars don't go flopping over. I think that pretty much covers features. Let's try it out. Okay, let's try out this War Beast. Had to raise it a little bit. Seems pretty sturdy. I don't have the bottom piece on. It grabs the neck really nicely. If I wanted to, I could probably put the little adjusters on there for a smaller neck. Holds it pretty good down here. Waves around a little bit. It feels pretty secure. Next up, this acoustic guitar. Go ahead and give you a rundown. So it holds the neck pretty good. Come down, the big old body of it. Moves a little bit, but it's going to swing because um, we're only holding it by the neck. On this one, I went ahead and put the the support down. If you didn't, it was starting to hit into this bracket. So this works out pretty nicely. You know, padded. It's not going to mess up your guitar. Pretty happy with that. All right, I had to raise it up for this bad boy. Try an electric bass here. It's way longer. As expected, it's going to hold this pretty nicely. Really accommodates the length by being able to make the stand taller. This is at max height, so still got some room. I went ahead and used the back brace just because I think if you hastily throw a guitar up here, it's gonna wanna swing and it'll immediately hit that backstop and not uh, cause any damage to the bottom of your guitar. And for completeness, here's an acoustic bass, just to check that out. Nothing different here, still holding it by the neck really well. Kept that kickstand out at the bottom. Pretty sturdy, really close. Might actually be hitting on the back. Let's give it a look. Barely an eighth of an inch from hitting this. Could probably raise this up some to help push it out some. That's what you're gonna get with an acoustic bass on this thing. So there you have it. I don't have a mandolin or banjo, surprisingly. 
to throw up on here to try that out, but this should cover a lot of other people's use cases. I'm going to obviously spend a lot more time with this since I just opened it up and just started using it. There's what it looks like with an assortment of instruments. I found that the kickstand needs in the back needs to be pretty high in this scenario to accommodate the guitars versus the bass. This is obviously would be a lot better setup if you just only had guitars, but it easily accommodates acoustic and electrics at the same time. I love that it's easy on and off with the guitar. It feels pretty safe still. That's the biggest thing I don't want any of these to get damaged while they're out. Overall, messing with all of the piece and parts of this, the construction seems solid. Very impressed with it. Thank you for watching this. I'm super excited to have this to keep some of these guitars way safer, especially this War Beast, because it is just a booger to deal with with its awesome body shape. This is my first expensive guitar stand, so we'll see how that goes. I've normally gone with those really, really cheap ones to just get the job done, but a lot of my other guitars are not as important and more run of the mill. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you want to check something out on this. I'll get back to you in the comments. Please go ahead, like, do the comments, subscribe to the channel, find us on the socials, Instagram, Facebook, the Twitter X, whatever you want to call it. And Hercules is unfortunately not a sponsor. So when it comes to sponsors for music accessories and gadgets, I guess I'll uh, try trying harder. Thank <laughs> you.